Okay, I'm going to show you how I would edit this picture using soft light um, brushes. I recently started playing around with it. I like the effect and um, I've never seen a tutorial about it so I thought I'd make one for you guys. So the first thing I would do with this image, which um, is not going to be the family's favorite because she got a hold of my Elmo, but whatever. I wanted to um, start with a new layer, so I'd Command J. And then I would choose um, a pink or a purple from over here, um, somewhere in the lighter range. And put my opacity around 50-ish. Um, my brush in soft light mode and then I would brush around the purple areas. Uh, so here's before and there's after with that. Um, then I would go ahead and flatten and make a new layer. Um, then I would lower my opacity and I, I actually like the way the pink looks in the trees so it, um, it has this like neon look and if I want to soften it up a little bit. I'll paint some of that pink on there too. It's kind of subtle. Um, but here's before and after with the pink added. Uh, give or take if you like it. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Then um, the next thing I would do is choose something in the orange area. Um, between orange and yellow, maybe there-ish. Um, I would keep my opacity kind of low on this one on a new layer again. Make my brush, oops, I would make my brush huge. And then I would just paint to kind of soften the whole thing. I'm gonna paint across here. And it just kind of softens and brightens everything up before and after on that. Just subtle, and then I will close it out. Um, another thing I might do is take some of this road in soft light. New layer again. I always do a new layer. Um, I will color in. I think it kind of needs to be a little darker. If we go darker, we can always change it later. So I'm coloring in the road, giving it a nice warm feeling. It's going to go right between here. Oh, looks like that could use a little more. Uh, yeah, so there's, there's before and after on that. Um, looks like I, I want to get it off of that spot so I would create a layer mask right here take off anywhere where I made a mistake so um, I gotta go back to normal mode on my brush my black brush and I would just take it out of there I feel like I need to take it off a little bit right there um, yeah so there's my before and after of the road um, I wonder if So then I can decide on the opacity how strong I want it to be. Maybe there. Um, and then another tool that I use a lot is the dodge and burn. I usually dodge in the mid-tones. Um, so I might do like 18 just to make sure her face is bright enough. Yeah, and then um, I might burn in this picture. I might just burn the road a little bit to darken it. Um, I forgot to start a new layer, so I'm going to back up. Start a layer on this one. In case I burn too much, then I can back up. Um, when you burn, it kind of like brings out the grizzly stuff in the road, the rocks, and makes it look kind of sharper to me. Um, so there's that before and after on the burn. Uh, yeah. And I am flattening. 
Okay, so to me, this one looks pretty ready to go. I have before and after with the soft light brushes. Um, I hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching.